Hey everybody, John with Owl. Now at Owl, we end up getting a lot of feedback from customers. A lot of people have uh, very strong opinions about how they do their build and what they want from us. And occasionally, if you catch me on the right day, I'll listen. And this is one of those times. So we have got a brand new product just out of frame here that a few of you have seen at the shows. You got a couple of sneak peeks and it's something that uh, we have been working on. See, we get a lot of customers that want more and more storage. And they end up ordering two medium boxes. I just kind of snuck it in there. Darn it, I gotta stay this way. Uh, they order like two medium boxes or a large and a medium. We're like, you know what? There's a better way to do this. And so we went back to the drawing board and we came up with, drum roll please. Brrr, the monster box, there it is. Brrr. I really want to do like a Halloween special monster box. I still might, but we had so many people that wanted this box that saw it at some of the shows that we decided we got to get this out there. We got to tell people about it. So. The first thing you will notice about the monster box is the size. So you can see how much bigger that is than a normal box. Now we're still working on ways to mount bikes to it. You can put a gear cage above it, but just initially you can see the size. Now, please keep in mind too, that what I'm showing you right now is a prototype. So we always refine from the prototype. Typically the prototypes are put on my van or one of our other vans and we, we use it, we abuse it, we find the problems and we update it. So keep in mind, there's a few things I'll tell you about this box that are different. First and foremost, we will have a slightly different, more usable uh, hole and slot layout that will very closely match our other products. Like if you go here with our side steps and you can see nice and dirty, but you see like these kind of accessories work. These will all work on this box as well. We just aren't there yet because the original prototype, these were cut a little big. Also the shape of this will be slightly different and uh, yeah, so just use your imaginations. You can see what the final product is gonna, be look, gonna look like. This box is meant to not only hold a bunch of stuff, but be a workstation that can work. First and foremost, the name Monster Box. This was kind of an internal name and we ended up liking it so much we went with it. Why is it a Monster Box? Because in some of the prototypes, when we had the bottom door open, see, you kind of got two eyes and a mouth. Oh, all right, end of that. That's the Monster Box. So the way this works, initially you can see there's two doors. Why is this different? Our other boxes open like a barn door, whereas this one opens up and down. Why is that important? Well, when it opens down, you get a workstation. So one of the things that people like the most about our medium sized boxes is they have this fold down front. And what's nice about on the monster box is we have a much bigger area than we'd have on a medium. And then what we're also working on is a CNC machined cutting board workstation that will go in here. So that when you flip this down, you have a place that you can prepare food, put a grill on, or what I use it for often is just when you pull out one of these beautiful uh, owl gear toads and you want to rummage through it and find all the stuff you want, you have a place to put that and you can stick it right back in the box. The other thing we're working on, this part isn't final, so don't hold me to it. We're working on some sort of lighting. Now this in the final form is only going to open about that far. And so those that are uh, height challenged, we will say, can reach up and close this but we are gonna have a light here so that you can shine right down onto uh, your workstation, your grill, your food prep, whatever. So what you'll see here as far as gear storage, we have two owl totes that I joked about earlier. These are great. We've got two here and then we've got a shelf that can move up and down. So you can also purchase more shelves. So if you wanted to have uh, this shelf a little bit lower, you could also do another set of gear totes above this and even more gear above that. So as you can see in this monster box, I've got two owl gear totes I've got another uh, medium gear tote, a tool roll, um, tire jacks, leveling blocks, all of that dirty stuff that I don't want inside the cab fits in here and there's room to spare. If I wanted to, I could probably realistically jam twice as much stuff in there as I have now. There's a little push uh, pull pin here that keeps that bottom door up. So you just reach in and pull this pin and that allows that to come down. And then as far as closing the box, you simply close this top part, you twist the handles, and you've got, as all of our boxes, you've got the key lock and then an additional padlock lock if you want. These panels on the front, you can mount to, obviously you're not gonna want to mount max tracks or anything that cover the opening, you can't open it, um, but you could mount like a shovel here and something else, smaller stuff here. Another person, I haven't tested it, but their idea was to put actually uh, like one of those um, clamshell ski racks, top and bottom. Yes, you'd have to take your snowboard or skis off to open the box, but Great way to transport stuff by putting those on the front of this box and then putting your skis in and locking it. And realistically, I haven't even scratched the surface of all the different ways people are gonna use this product. Uh, Size-wise, 
I have OCD, so I wanted to make sure that this lined up with the center line of the tire because I thought it aesthetically looked good. But realistically, you can take this whole box and you've got tons of space down here. You can move the whole box down another six to eight inches. It's gonna allow you um, a lower work area if you want it. It's also gonna allow you to utilize the top of the box if you want to. You just have to, with your one-ups, make sure you clear the top of the tire. So, our boxes, we've got our medium box. It's about 19 inches high. We've got our large box. It's 30 inches high. And this monster box is 40 inches high. All of them are 24 inches, two feet wide. Uh, I believe it's 16 inches deep. We'll have the exact specs and the opening specs on our website. Yes, you can fit a generator in here. Um, I think it's one of the coolest boxes. The response at all the shows has been off the charts. I think it's going to be a popular one. The monster boxes, if you're seeing this video, are available now on our website for pre-order. And if you watch the video, if you're late to the party, then they'll probably be av available for regular order down the road. Thank you, and hopefully you enjoy the monster box. <laughs>